Cracking down on gun violence and harsher punishments for those pulling the trigger, the city of Indianapolis is vowing to do this all in the name of safety. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson was there as the city laid out its plan, and Rachel is live in studio with us tonight. Rachel, break this down for us, this new plan. Yeah, Mark, the mayor is asking the city county council to pass several ordinances focused on gun regulation. That plan comes with three major points, banning the sale of military style guns, changing the age from buying a gun from 18 to 21 and in permitless carry in Marion County. Indianapolis cannot afford to pay the price of inaction any longer. It's a fight to crack down on gun violence across Indianapolis. That is why today I'm announcing several new efforts intended to make our city safer while ensuring that the rights of law-abiding gun owners are preserved. Officials say more than 80 out of the 95 homicides so far this year are linked to gun violence. Last month, two Metro police officers were shot in the line of duty during a gun investigation. An AR-15 style rifle was used. The mayor called on the U.S. Attorney's Office to step in. He says that's where the plan to ban military type rifles, abolish the permitless carry law and raise the legal age to purchase a gun emerged. That will help us take the worst of the worst off our streets, along with the weapons of death that they peddle to our residents. But the city needs the help of state leaders to enforce this. None of us were really for uh, going away from the permits to carry weapons. Um, I, I still think that was a mistake. Uh, I'm hoping that could be reversed. One part of the plan that does not need approval from lawmakers are gun free zones. Organizers holding events on public property can ban guns from their events with the permit. The city says Metro Police will help with enforcement. As for businesses and homes causing trouble, the city is cracking down using the nuisance law. If property owners with constant gun issues fail to respond with common sense measures like adequate security and banning the possession of firearms, we will now, to, we will now seek to hold them liable under state nuisance law for their role in maintaining a threat to the public safety. The plan also includes hiring three city attorneys that will specifically work with the U.S. Attorney's Office in violent crime and gun violence cases. So Rachel, you've already laid out a lot of bullet points in that plan, but it's a multi-tiered plan. So what else does it include? Well, it also includes pay raises for Metro Police officers. First and second year new hires will get $10,000 added to their salary, and veterans who have been on the department for at least three years will get up to a $2,500 bonus. All right, we'll see what happens next with it. Thanks, Rachel. Now, we do have more details about Indy's plan to combat gun violence. It's all in this story. It's on our website at WRTV.com. You can also find it on the WRTV app.